Hey everyone, I am here today to bring you a wig by The Wig Company. This is Katie from their Timeless Collection, which is one of their signature collections. And Katie is in the color K337H. Katie, 337H. The Wig Company reached out to me and asked if I would collaborate with them again on a review. And this time I am going to show you Katie. So I'm very excited because I always love working with the Wig Company. I think they're a fabulous resource for us wig wearers. And they're always so lovely to work with. So before I actually talk too much about Katie, I do want to give them a shout out and say thank you very much for sending me Katie so that I could share her with all of you. This is such a great wig and you know she is a budget wig and I hate to say that sometimes about some of these wig company wigs because while their prices are budget, these wigs are nice. They're, um, you know, the fibers feel as good as any of the high end wigs um, that I purchased from big big name brands. So I just really, really love showing these wigs to you guys. Before I get too far into this, though, I just want to tell you, since I'm talking about budget, as I look at the wig company website right now, Katie is on sale, as I film this today, uh, the very beginning of November, for $49. Her re retail price is $69. So the price point on Katie is amazing. And if they were to have a, 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 a coupon code on top of that, Wow, you could really get Katie for such a great deal. The other thing I wanted to look up really quick is this color, because I think it has a name. It does. Okay, so the color code is K337H, or 337H, I guess I should say, one of the two. And crimson is what it's called. So this is crimson. Oh my gosh, you guys, let's just take a quick look at this color. Of course I will show you crimson outside. I always do that. But look at this vibrant, deep, burgundy red. Isn't it gorgeous? Such a beautiful color. Oh, so pretty. Very, very um, um, kind of jewel tone red. It's just like a ruby, burgundy, so pretty. All right, so Katie is a machine-made cap wig, so she's a basic cap. She doesn't have any fancy bells and whistles, no lace front, no monofilament, which is one of the things that helps to keep her price point down. Let me show you her from all sides. She's really a cute, layered shag cut. See all the layers she's got going on. Just an adorable shag with lots of kind of flippy layers. You can see that here. And I think, you know, she's so kind of versatile in the sense that you can really tame the layers down or you can get a little volume in these layers and really play them up. So Katie does have some permatease, so the whole top of the cap, it has permatease in it. And I can feel poofy, pillowy permatease on this whole part of the cap. One of the things I'm really impressed with is the lack of visible permatease. So I'm going to give you guys a, a good look at the top of this wig here. So even though she has a lot of permatease up here, you don't really see that nesty permatease, which is so awesome. When I do this, you can kind of see it in there a little bit, but the way that they did these layers just really disguises that permatease, which when you have a basic cap wig, that is one of the challenges that you may face is visible permatease and just keeping that to a minimum. And I have shown in other videos ways that you can do that. One of the biggest ways is just lifting the fibers off the cap, running your fingers through the fibers, kind of going like that, picking them up. That's going to pick the fibers up and lay them down on top of the permatease, which is what you want to do to disguise it. So let's take a look at this cap. So you've got just like that, that's where all the permatease is. And then you have open adjust ear tabs with metal stays in them. You have an open extended nape 
and Velcro adjusters, which I'm super thrilled with. I love these Velcro adjusters. Another really awesome thing about Katie is that she comes in average and large. So she does come in a large cap, which is awesome. I do have an out of the box for Katie. So when I got Katie out of the box, she had just a little bit of box hair going on and that will happen. Um, it's, it's more common when you have a lot more permities because, you know, when a wig comes in a box and it's kind of, you know, compacted on itself, the permities just sort of um, balls up a little bit. So you just need to release that permities. So shaking, uh, spraying with a little bit of water, letting it hang upside down, you know, really getting into the cap and just lifting those hair fibers up will all do a lot to disguise and to lift up that box hair that can happen. So please don't fret if you get a wig that looks a little odd. A lot of times it's just box hair. This cap is an average, and I will tell you guys, it's really generously sized. So, I mean, there's tons of stretch. I have to cinch this in a little bit to fit my 22-inch circumference head comfortably. So, there's definitely room to grow. The ear tabs come all the way down to my ears. Very good coverage, generous coverage on this piece. Uh, so I would say a lot, a wide variety of head sizes are going to be able to wear Katie. If you are a true large cap, like really large, then it does come in a large cap. But I think if you're, you know, 23 inch circumference even, if you are bigger than I am over the top of your head, I do have lots of extra cap in this. You know, I don't know if you would even need to go to a large cap on this one. Very, very generously sized, very comfortable. Um, it's just really kind of feels light on the head, not heavy hair density, just feels really comfortable. These fibers are really beautiful, soft and silky, but something else is that they're very kind of um, wispy, sort of fine and wispy. They're finer denier, which gives it a really realistic look. I mean, it definitely doesn't look like a heavy, heavy head of hair, and it's just the wispiness really gives these layers just great flow and movement. I would say that um, if you don't like permatease, though, she does have quite a bit of permatease up here. She kind of needs it to give it body and lift and all of that, but she definitely has a good amount of permatease. She's also very short on the top. You can actually wear Katie with a full bang. I would just need to trim her ever so slightly. She just gets in my eyes really a little bit. You can see that. Uh, just a little bit of trimming would really help that. So if you like bangs and you like hair to be more sort of to the front, I mean, look at how cute that is. Look at how easy it is to really kind of adjust that. She tucks really, really well. And part of that's because of that nice hair density. And she doesn't have a ton of permatees at the sides. So it's going to give you that flexibility to tuck her. And just look at how cute that looks. A little messy fringe. <laughs> and then tucking. I just think there's a lot of really cute things that you can do with this one. Another thing that I really like about these layers is I think this one would look good with a hat. So if you're looking for a wig that you can wear, like a hat in the winter, I think this one would be really cute. As a matter of fact, I'm going to going to pause this and I'm going to grab a hat really quick and just kind of demonstrate that. All right, I'm back with a hat. And so this is one of my favorite little lightweight kind of beanies that I like to wear to football games and you know when I'm gonna be outside here in the fall and in the winter a little bit. It's, and it's so cute. And what I really like is that these layers just give them a, a little peekaboo on the bottom. And, but it's not heavy. So the it's not like I've got this big poof up here and it makes my hat look funny. So it's another thing that I think can be great with these pieces is some of that flexibility. And then what's really another good thing is if you go someplace and now you're going to be indoors, you can whip your hat off, you know, just kind of finger style it just a little bit. And you're good to go and you don't get crimped hair back when I before I discovered wigs my hair is so thin and so fine it has been my whole life I could never ever ever wear a hat in the winter and take it off later once I started wearing fibers hair powder I couldn't at all but even before that if I had a hat on for 15 minutes I would get hat head like nearly immediately and so I really limited what I could do but with a wig no problem 
All right, guys, I'm going to get outside so you can see this color. Something else that I'd like to just tell you about the wig company that I think is really great. If you order a wig from their house brands, so the Timeless Collection, um, Statements, you know, they have a number of different house brands. They always send a return label with your order. So if you need to send the wig back, you have a label ready to go. Their return policy is really good on their house brands as well. But they also carry Aesthetica and Gabor and I'm forgetting all the all the ones that they carry but they definitely have other brands of wigs besides their house brands but the house brands are great quality and I highly recommend them so stick around for the outside look and the out of the box this has been Katie and she's super cute thank you the wig company for letting me show all my wig sisters this really cute style thanks for watching you guys all right everyone here I am with K, what is it now? K 337H on Katie outside. She is unbelievably adorable. And this color, so beautiful. I'm trying to get you, it's getting windy, the color as well as I can. I'm really struggling. We have very few leaves on the trees now. And it's really sunny everywhere in my yard. So I'm trying to get a little bit of shade. I'll step into the sun briefly. So, so beautiful. Let's see if I can get a little shade over here. Give my camera a second to adjust. I just think this color is really gorgeous. Crimson. It's just a crimson, deep ruby. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Okay, friends, here we have Katie out of the box. I've taken her out of the box. I have not shaken her out. I've done nothing to her. I did take the tags off and all of that. I don't think you guys need to see every nitty gritty out of the box moment <laughs> uh, in an effort to save time, but I did nothing to her. So this is how she came out of the box. Very generously sized cap, that's for sure. All right, so here she is. And why do I do this? Because I want to show you what a wig can look like out of the box. I do this whenever I get a brand new wig. That way you will have an opportunity to see how she looks after I've messed with her, worked with her, shaken her out, used water, whatever it is that I would typically do to make a wig wearable for me, except modify, which I would never do until I've done the initial review. And how it looks out of the box. Because out of the box is a challenge. Oftentimes it is just your, the disappointment is palpable because of box hair. It's really not that bad. I mean, she definitely has a little bit of box hair. You know, I need to work with this top here. I need to get some life in her, you know, all of those things. But I definitely, if you were going for kind of a, a shorter on top, longer in the back layered style, I wouldn't be terribly disappointed by this. I wouldn't also expect to be able to plop it on my head without sh at least shaking the wig out, which is what you have to really do. I mean, these wigs, you don't know how long she's been living in her box. You can kind of do a few shakes like this. You can stick your hand in the weft so that it's secure on your hand and then just do some good shakes. Uh, for a wig with permatees, I definitely would be getting in there underneath uh, the cap on, on that permatease. Let me grab my comb. You know, I'm really trying to get uh, the fibers off the cap. You know, you can take it and you can kind of comb it away from the cap. And since so she doesn't have any curls, I'm not at all worried about ruining curl. So you can really get in there and start waking up the fibers. Just I would just go against the grain all throughout the whole piece. One way and then the other, because that's what's going to lift these fibers off the cap. 
fibers feel great. Um, you know, you might have to have it hang upside down for a little while, uh, just to let gravity kind of take, take over. Other than that though, I mean, that should be the minimum that you're going to do to a piece when you get it out of the box. Obviously you can't return it if you do any of these things. She's waking up. So, you know, super layered and I'm going to play with her. I'm going to let her hang for a little while and then we'll see what we got. You'll have already seen it though, but here's what I had to work with out of the box. And so keep in mind, you do have to work with them out of the box a little bit, but she's awfully cute. Thanks for watching.